he can drink all of vodka and Smirnoff and whatever the hell he wants to drink, he's still going to look like an idiot. So, Pooty Poop, this one's for you, dumbass. Wow. That's my take on there it. There it is, folks. You Straight from the here. white black house. You, you've heard that? So it sounds like to me perhaps he's not as masculine and virile as the true leader of the free world. You know, and something, else, something else struck me. You know, people keep dying who want to run against him in the political arena. I find that a little strange, a little coincidental. Go ahead. Well, you know, it's just, you know, it's trying to figure it out. You know, people run against them, then they disappear or they die. I don't think it's a coincidence. I think it's called... Uh, Gary Condit, former senator of California. <laughs> exactly. Oops. What about Gary Coleman? He's, what is, he's, he's too what? short to kill anybody but a beetle bug. He's dead. What? He died. When? Long time ago. Get the hell out of here. For real. Oh, my God. I'm not Willis, but I Michelle. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Michelle, I need a hug. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Yes, that's good, uh, huh? Uh, uh, uh. All right, Sancho. I'll actually pay you for an hour's <laughs> wage if you can tell me the name of Gary Coleman's goldfish on different strokes. Oh, Ronald? No. And don't nobody look at me because was, I'm black. He was named after a president. Oh, Garfield. No. His uh, name was Abraham. Was it Abraham? His goldfish's name, Arnold's. Goldfish's name was Abraham on different strokes. Did he get molested by the bike guy? Well, yeah, that's what right. Him hell? and Dudley, yes. Dudley. <laughs> Him and Dudley. <laughs> what? What? A little different strokes flashback, yes. Mr. President, that's I a, am very sorry uh, about uh, this. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I, I thought this was supposed to be a, a, a good thing, and, and now you're talking about people, you know, oh, come on, let's, let's, let's keep it moving. Okay. All, right. All right. It's like I tell Congress, let's keep it moving. Now, yeah, you, you talk about that, but <laughs> they've done anything but. It seems like they've gone out of their way to obstruct you. Of <laughs> course. Your brother can't do anything. You know, I thought when I went to the white black house, I have some barbecue in the back, you know, do my little thing, put some hoops up. Everybody's got something to say. That, what? That's bust down behavior, is it not? <laughs> oh, well. So, somebody... Did he play? He planned well for this show. Bust wow. down behavior. Is that a good term to to explain what Congress has been pulling on you, yeah, Mr. Yeah. President? I got some words, but I can't do it because I don't want to get in trouble. Whisper but in my ear. Very feminine words. But you don't have to worry about reelection at this point. I mean, you can just let it hang out with us, buddy. You know, even though I'm not going to get reelected, you know, I don't want to leave the white black house, you know, leaving the American people feeling left out in the cold with all the the things that make this country great, including affordable health care. I just don't want to leave, leave the American people hanging. I want to be strong for the country, for the nation, and by golly, for apple pie. Fat chicks need love too. Oh my God. You know what? I'm, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I, I, I need a tissue right now. Like that really... I got really emotional from that. Seriously, <laughs> that'd be right Mr. Here, President. Man. Well, if, if I beat the shit, the the, the stuff ship, out of ship. Uh, ship ship out of Sancho, will you pardon me? I pardon you nothing. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is this: My name ain't Bennett, and I ain't in it. <laughs> <laughs> Sancho, you better tread lightly, buddy. Hey, do you know, Mr. President, they hate us, hate us, cause they ain't us. Like the interview, the movie. How come every time you say something, it always refers to some sort of body part? Ain't what it? is your problem? No. <laughs> no, it's all good. He does have a very broken uh, a, a very broken understanding of our language, Mr. Oh, President. Shoot. Has anybody yeah. heard from Monica Lewinsky? I just had to say it. Just had to say it. <laughs> I've seen, uh, you know, she's not looking too healthy right now. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah. Oh, boy. What can you do? But I bet wow. she's still infinitely more attractive than... Uh, Hillary Clinton. Oh, my gosh. You know I, what? I don't blame him. You know what? Speaking of Hillary, let me ask you a question. Does Does Hillary Clinton remind you of Rosie the Robot on the Jetsons? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> she had that little head kind of wide down there. Dude, she looked does. Looked a little stiff. Uh, 
She has the uh, was the she has snooks stuff up there. Was she get some snooks up there? That's a little South Park reference. Yeah, there. man, she got the snook. I can't believe she thought she was going to beat me. Bitch, you must be crazy. Uh, she ain't got nothing <laughs> on you, sir. You are you are the wonderful leader of the free world, uh, and we will be sad to see you go. But you know what? We could probably hire you to do some badass commercials when you're done. Uh, you know, I, I agree. You know, it's sad. It, it saddens me, Mr. President, that no one that I've heard of that's thrown their hat in the ring. Whether it be Republican, whether it be Democrat, whether it be Independent, it saddens me that none of them have the articulation, have the skills, the, the veritable plethora of vocal skills that you do, Mr. President. You know, I really appreciate that. Uh, I often talk to Michelle about the importance of connecting to the American people and those comments. They hit the spot. They hit the spot. See, we're having a moment over here while you guys, well, you know, Sancho's clowning and everything and screwing it all up. I'm glad I get you wings for you, man. I'm sorry. I love wings. I didn't say anything about wings. Well, you know, you said the wing, the wing, West Wing, White House. You know, there's Secret Service around here, Sancho. They can take you out in a moment's notice. You know, know yeah, Bush. What did I tell you before? Got it right here. You you know, yeah, Bush. How do you say he's retarded? Jeb Bush. Yes. Let him go full retard. He Jeb, he went full retard. <laughs> Someone take Sancho off the freaking board, please. Sancho, go get a beer, dude. Get him off the board. Why? I don't want to be a beer. No, get get him off the board before I send him back to Honduras. Seriously. He's gonna start just, uh, be easy. He's gonna start just hitting buttons again. Mr. President, could we expedite? Uh, Stop. Could could we expedite the expatriation process of Sancho? You have my vote. Nope. See, so there you go. There you wow. go. Wow. Well, he, I'm glad he didn't hear that. He'd be probably upset. At the well, moment. Mr. President, Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, it is a pleasure to have you as a part of the show. We are honored that you could join us once again. And we look forward to having you on here soon. Thank you I, so much. I, so I, much. Uh, we will talk further about some uh, endorsement opportunities once you're out of office. Uh, true that, as the homies say. Uh, peace and grease, love, all my people, white or black. It ain't where you're from, it's where you're at. Woo, woo. Good night, America. Oh, my God. All right. Mr. Mr. President. Mr. President, thank you so much. Wow, is it time for a commercial break it already? It is. It's that, time that was... for a break. When we get back, we will be joined by Ant from the host of, what's the name of the show, Miggy? Are You Not Entertained? Yes, from that show. When we get back. All you craniacs, stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Howdy, folks. Billy Boy's back and ready to get you mile high. <laughs> Thanks for voting, all you green leaves, and opening the door for Amendment 64. I am excited to announce to you the grand opening of my top shelf marijuana boutique in Emporia. Commander and Leaf. At Commander and Leaf, we only procure from the choicest fields and botanical masters. From sour diesel to Maui Wowie and candies to space cakes. We have it all. All our confections are created right on site. So come seal the deal and enjoy some Billy Delights. And don't forget to check out my other products, Billy Bags and Billy Doe's, for all my discriminating constituents. I'm Bill Clinton, and I approve these party supplies and toys. <laughs>
This is Pumpkin Brewster's adopted father calling from heaven for the Cranial Emission Show. Oh, Pumpkin. Uh, welcome back to the Cranial Emission Show, and this has just been a star-studded gala. This has just been an absolute honor to have all these guests. I mean, I am beside myself with the fact that we've already had a world-renowned treasure hunter. We've already had President Obama on the show. And the one thing that we could do with a little less would be Sancho and his stupid little sound bites. I won't do that anymore. I'm sorry. I was going to lecture from Miggy. I won't let it happen again. Thank you, Genevieve. Yeah. Uh, we are broadcasting. I mentioned Genevieve, the gorgeous Genevieve, who is the bartender here at ESB Brewing, where we broadcast from on a Friday night here at 333 North Falkenberg Road, Sweetie. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> 407, here in Tampa, Florida, <laughs> where there are 13 different beers to choose from from behind the bar. So oh, make yeah. sure you get your took us up here for a pint of ESB's finest. If you want to be a part of the show, you want to call in, you can do so. 813-438-6068. We're waiting on a call, by the way, from Ant. Did you pull up Skype, Sancho? Skype has been up. Is it, is it up and ready? We're waiting on Ant from Are You Not Entertained, who... Uh, uh, apparently is not as timely as we No, that's would okay. Hope. He's they they've got us they're they prepping their their show actually overlaps ours by thirty minutes, but they're pushing their show up just so he can call on our show. So he's probably just finalizing a few things on his show. So when he calls, we will be ready to accept his phone call. So then why don't we I, go ahead and go with the last story in the segment, the one with the oysters, Caleb. That's a that's an interesting story. I'm actually looking up the location right now because I just got back from the uh, Tennessee area. But they, uh, yeah, you were uh, over doing the Tale of the Dragon event. The Tale of the Dragon, yeah, it's a uh, man. I, I did not want to come. T- home. Tell the listeners a little bit about that. Actually, the Tale of the Dragon is a uh, it's a road that uh, is on the border of North Carolina and Tennessee. It actually forms the southern border of the Great Smoky Mountain National Forest. It's a 11 mile stretch of uh, U.S. Highway 129 that has 318 curves over 11 miles. It is an absolute blast to drive in any kind of car, really. I mean, it just, it's fun. And everything up there, all the roads are gorgeous. We tried to support you on that. You know, I tried to get the likes going for the S2000 with the World War II uh, <laughs> mouth on the front of it, much like a B-52 bomber. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, that was a lot of fun. It was about six hours worth of hard work put in to, to put that on the car. And I, actually, I did it for two reasons. I did it for fun uh, to kind of get, catch attention. Also did it to protect the front end uh, of the car from the gravel and the chips up there. Unfortunately, I, I do appreciate all the help from everybody out there. But unfortunately, it looks like uh, there was a green motorcycle picture. That was a, it was a badass picture. But uh, he just absolutely walked away with the uh, with the votes. Turns out uh, it, he his, his photo was featured on the uh, competition's webpage. Boo. Uh, so he had a little bit of a head start. Not going to make excuses. He had a, it was a fantastic picture. And good luck to him. I hope he enjoys the photo. But whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so it's so nice up there. On the drive home uh, Sunday morning at about seven a.m., driving down the mountains with the sun cresting over the mountains, it, I I almost didn't come back. I almost had a call in this week. Oh, we got a caller <laughs> calling. Looks like in. the call All is right. coming in here. Sancho, go ahead and patch him in. Muchos gracias for calling the Cranial Emission Show. Hello. Hello. Hey, Am welcome. Thanks for caller? hey, thanks for calling the Cranial Emission Show. Hey, Sancho. Yes. Go ahead and turn the volume up on the call a little bit, please. Oh, sure. It's a little low. I'm having a hard time hearing the caller. All right, hang on. Uh, where's the button? Where's the button for the calling? Hey, is this Hank? Hey, can you guys hear me? No, you got to turn it up. Oh, there it is. Hang on a second. Sorry, buddy. I got the... <laughs> You know, you, you had the samples on lock, but you can't get the frickin' technical shit going on with the show. Hey, I'm a work in progress. Ant, are you there? I'm here, man. There All we right, go. brother. We are speaking to Ant, one of the co-hosts of the, I, I believe, another internet radio show. Am I not correct? Yes, I'm For correct. The, the program known as Are You Not Entertained? I understand that you guys, it's a pleasure to have you here, and I understand that you guys are a fan of our show and... You know, we're, we're honored to have you here. We appreciate your support and obviously want to offer that back in return. Oh, hell yeah, man. I'm excited. I, I, I love your guys' show. I've been listening to it every day. And, man, I, I've been trying to catch up to all the older episodes as well. You guys are just cracking me up every day. Yeah, it's uh, to keep uh, – this is Miguel, by the way. This is Miguel Hito uh, from, from, from the Cranial Mission Show. Uh, I, yeah, I, how you doing, Miguel? No worries, man. I'm doing good. Um, I stumbled. 